there, Wargamers, and welcome back to another Wargames Delivered video. Be sure to visit us at wargamesdelivered.com to get the paints, miniatures, and supplies used in this video, and also to refer a friend. You guys will both get a $15 discount, and with that, let's get into the video. In this video, we'll be painting Grandmaster Yoda from Star Wars Legion using the Army Painter Speed Paint 2.0 Mega Set. We have lots of Star Wars content planned for this week, so stay tuned for more tips throughout the week. And so today we'll be focusing on how to paint this mini using the Slap Chop method. The Slap Chop method is an excellent technique for getting miniatures painted quickly without losing detail. Uh, we'll go through the benefits of this technique and demonstrate how to use it to paint a detailed miniature. Starting out with Satchel Brown, I'm using this to paint the pants and his tunic, uh, being careful to avoid the cloak because we'll be using a different color there. And really the key to the slap chop method is starting out with a good dark gray or black primer on the model, and once that dries, apply a mid-tone to the model from about a 90 degree angle, uh, looking down from the top of the model. In this step, you're trying to highlight and create the mid-tone of the midi, while also leaving the darker base tone showing underneath. And lastly, for the slap chop method, you use white or uh, ivory as a nice off-white to dry brush the entire mini, adding a bit more color to uh, the waist up on character models like this. This will set you up for a quick and successful paint job. For anyone interested in picking up some of the classic speed paints, the 1.0s, I think they're still a great product on their own. Uh, we have a sale on the store at wargamesdelivered.com where if you buy 10, you'll get five for free. Uh, so be sure to check that out in the link in the description below. Now that the satchel brown is dry, you can kind of see the gradient the speed paints made over a multicolored base coat. For those of you that don't enjoy highlighting, this is a great workaround for uh, that step. And next up, we're using Pallid Bone for Yoda's Cloak. This is still the classic speed paint formula, not the new 2.0s, but I really like the look of the color. And if you're careful with the classic speed paints, you can really prevent them from reactivating and get a really nice finish with them. In retrospect, I think the cloak could use some further highlights, but this week I wanted to do a bit of a side-by-side -side on how a mini looks after the speed paints, and then a uh, comparison to after the speed paints with highlights. So stick around and check back later this week to see the difference in later videos. If you would like to pick up all of these uh, newer speed paints for yourself, the Speed Paint 2.0 Complete Set is available for pre-order on our website over at wargamesdelivered.com. This set contains all 89 new speed paint colors and a large bottle of speed paint medium as well, which I think is very useful. Uh, pick yours up now, available May 27th. With a smaller mini like this, it can be really quick uh, to get them done with the slap chop method, uh, depending on how detailed you'd like to go. Uh, this one, for instance, took me about an hour or two, but the Captain America mini that we did with the acrylics last week took me a few days to get right. Um, so acrylics can really enhance a mini and give you more precision and control, but they can also take quite a bit longer to get done. And also, if you'd like to pick up any of Army Painter's other paint lines, we've got uh, deals for all of their paint lines over at our store at wargamesdelivered.com. Uh, go ahead and pick six and you'll get three for free of your choice with your order. Uh, there will be a link for this in the description below as well. With that drying, we can move on to the skin tone for Master Yoda, and I chose Algae Green for this. I've been using this for my skin tone on my Cruel Boys for Age of Sigmar, and I thought it would work perfectly here too. When you're applying paint uh, to smaller areas like the feet here, uh, try to keep good control over your brush so that you'll in turn have good control over the speed paint. Using a bit less paint here on your brush for smaller areas really helps keep more control and prevents the paint from running, especially speed paints and washes. Now for this video, I'm simply just showing off the speed paint steps. Later on in the week, I'll give you guys a very detailed and in-depth look on how I paint uh, an effective lightsaber. So look out for more Star Wars Legion content tutorials uh, later on in the week. And as you can kind of tell, I wasn't perfect with my dry brush highlights over his face, but the algae green is collecting in the recesses and thinning on the flatter areas, uh, which is exactly what we were going for. This part is crucial for the speed paint to dry dynamically. 
And off camera, the only uh, step I really did was add the acrylic troll claws from the army painter to all of his nails on his hands and his feet because there wasn't really a good way to speed paint that on. Typically when I'm working with speed paints, I try to mix in just a couple acrylics into the paint job just to make some steps easier for me. And lastly with our speed paints here, we're going to switch to Ash and Stone just to add a quick layer to the hair on his head. Essentially this will act as a gray wash over his hair, adding shadows and leaving the white highlights poking through. Again, check back later this week for a detailed guide on painting lightsabers. This is something I've practiced quite a few times and I've also borrowed some awesome tips from our friends Duncan Rhodes and other great YouTubers like Miniac and Ninjan in the hobby because I'm a huge uh, Star Wars fan and lightsabers can be a tricky thing to paint. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more painting tutorials. And also be sure to check out the top link in the description for the giveaway attached to this video. Thanks again, guys, and happy wargaming.